There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. Hodgson, I presume? I'm Asian Pegasus. I'm from Steak. This is Dr. Jacob Frost and Professor Lilyflower. We'll hear about your ghost. It all happened so fast. I came back from a lecture and I was just about to go and make tea and... I'm sorry. I was just so scared. Very spooky this, isn't it? Relax, he likes to think he's funny. Lily, how are we looking on scans? Well, to be perfectly honest, Agent, there's nothing here. I can't get any readings. Well, if you ask me, I think that Miss Hodgson here has been taking a bit too much of the toad still. You can't even drift. <laughs> I'm not on drugs! You have to believe me! I'm not making this up! I'm not! Molly! We're not poking fun at ya. It's just that there are no ghosts here. Well, there has to be something you can do. Another scan! Can't you just... Piss off! Molly? Miss Hodgson? Molly? Molly, it's Dr. Jacob. I know who you are. Blue stuck up twat. You little bitch. Back off twat. You wimpy little bitch. My God, Jacob, this is amazing. We're finally making real contact with a, an entity. Fuck off, you sour bitch. Well, that was a tad rude, wasn't it? You think you know everything, don't you? You don't know shit. It's coming for all of you. Out of the darkness and into the light. Excuse me? Murderers of death, the party of three, who've opened the door, and now we're free. <laughs> Mom, I think we're tied up our depth here. <laughs> I think we're going to have to bring them in. Just talk to him. He's not been the same since, you know. Are you mad? I'm not speaking with him. I murdered her, remember? You're overreacting. Overreacting? Oh. Sorry, Frankie. I killed your girlfriend, but we're still beer, that's right. Look, this is a chance for you both to overcome what's happened. It'll be great. What? How are you feeling? What do you think? 
still in Heartbreak Hotel then. Heartbreak Hotel? Let's get out of here. Drink? Yeah, that's great. I have that with a side order of leave me the fuck alone. Oh, will you lighten up? No, I said a side order of leave me alone. Not a sarcastic bitch. Oh, you know what? Fine. I tried. What's this? Oh, Christ, Frankie. Listening to sad music isn't going to help. What would you know about it? Teddy and I were fine before you dug your fangs in. I realise these aren't the best circumstances to be in. But at least I'm trying my best at it. Neither of us are enjoying this tension. Tension? You've got some nerve. Yes, that's true. But you must understand. I was different then, so can we let bygones be bygones? You only get one chance at life. <laughs> I say that, I'm immortal. Contradiction City, here we come. Chew. Chew? I'm sorry. But Frankie, it's been six months. I think it's time you move on. Move on? Move on? I'll show you move on, you inconsiderate dick! Everything alright in here? We're fine. Bloody dandy. So, what are you gonna do then, mate? You gonna go out there and meet someone? Yeah, I'm going out. Get away from me, you two will clear my head. Bye. Well, that was better. But honestly, sometimes it's like living with a teenager. He is a teenager. I'm 23. Teenager. teenager. She was killed by, by, by a vampire, you know, the people with, with the pointy teeth. <sighs> Shh, that's, that, that's a secret. Fine, I don't need you. My name's Frankie Tar, I'm, I'm the wolf's babe.
Nighty night. One down, two to go. He's fine, Teddy. Oh, fine? He's been missing for three days. He can look after himself. This is Frankie we're talking about. For God's sake, a person who can't tell the difference between a panda and a cow. You're right. Let's go. Why would he come here? Well, believe it or not, he grew quite fond of her after they met. She was good for him, since he had no real family. He had you. But how did you two meet? That's a story for another time. Do you miss her? Yes, but she's in a better place now. Voodoo witches find no peace in heaven. Who are you? That's none of your concern, vampire. He's a slayer. I represent an organization that deals with the likes of you. The men in black. If you like. I'm with Stake. Stake? It stands for Strategically Trained Assassins Killing Evil. Oh, of course it does. What do you want? Well, we have something that belongs to you. I believe this is his. Frankie, what have you done with him? If you wish to see him again, you'll come with me. Hey, let me out of here! I swear the next full moon we get, you guys are going to be mincemeat! They do anything to you? Just some blood tests, that's all. What do you care? Mm, just trying to help. Oh God, what am I doing here? Well, worked for the fullest moon. God! Repentance is a good first step. But, soon enough you'll be wishing for death. No, I've already met him. I'd rather be dead than back in my flat. Giving up already? Funny. Most last a couple of weeks. But in the end, they all break. What are you on about? You've got no idea, do you? If you don't know, how come they've already broken you? I lost someone. Loss is never easy. Especially when their killer lives under the same roof as you. And that complicates things. How come you haven't got even then? What? An eye for an eye. She's my best friend's girlfriend. Even after everything we've been through, it just doesn't seem right. Sells it then. If you really cared about your friend's feelings, you, you'd give her a second chance. I guess. She's even been trying to help. Tell me, boy, how many murderers do that? It sounds like you're both trying to heal. But time heals all wounds. Believe me. Who are you? So your friends pull through for you. Package delivered as requested, ma'am. Thank you, Pegasus. Good work as always. I know what you did. I know that death tried to take over the world, only to be thwarted by you three and a gypsy with a drug problem. You see, I've kept my eye on you for a while now. I know everything about you. 
Frankie Talbot, Werewolf, turned 2013 by Evelyn Summers, deceased. Talbot's now taken up residence with known vampire Theodore Everett. Became a vampire in 1880, turned by a Mr. Quill, deceased. Theodore's known to be volatile and extremely dangerous. And finally, Lucy Alucard, daughter of Prince Vladimir Alucard and Lady Cassandra of Transylvania. Always nice to meet a celebrity. I know everything about you. If one of you sneezes, I know. If one of you shits, I know. I know all your dirty little secrets. What do you want from us? Fortunately for you, you're the only supernaturals I can trust. What makes you think that? Oh, have I got the wrong heroic trio? As much as we appreciate you saving the world from total destruction, you've opened a whole other can of worms that you can't close. What? When you killed Death, you took away the gatekeeper. It's true, Death took people through the door, but he also kept things from getting out. So by saving the world, we've brought about a second apocalypse? Correct. Brilliant. Two raptures in one year. However, by doing so, you've proved yourselves as worthy advocates for my new task force. Which is? A small team fighting back against evil. Wait, we're going to be secret agents? If you like. The name's Talbot. Frankie Talbot. The name's Twat. You're Twat. But we can't be agents. We're not trained. Mr Everett, please. You're more than qualified. You've defeated all manner of freaks. Everything from spooks to succubi. What if we don't take the job? I will personally shoot you all. On sight. Ah. We'll take the job then. I thought as much. Here's your first assignment. Molly Hodgson, first year uni student, reported poltergeist activity in her flat. However, the entity went rogue and possessed her. Funnily enough, it seems to know you. She's being held down in the lab. Ah, you must be the supernaturals everyone's raving on about. I'm Dr. Jacob Frost and this is Professor Lily Flower. Uh, we, as you can see, we have a level 7 manifestation of demonic possession. <laughs> Very exciting. Let me guess. There is no data, only soul. I'm sorry, what? C come on, man, it's Ghostbusters. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've only read Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> we were told that the demon had been speaking about us? Yes. All that brainstone and shite. Typical demonic behaviour. That's why we needed to bring you in. See what happened and then record it. So, we've been brought in to see what happens when you poke a poltergeist. Exactly. Have you had any uh, encounters with poltergeist before? Well, we once had a run-in with a socially awkward spook who nearly tore our house apart. Amazing. Simply amazing. <laughs> right, Lily, let's leave it to the professional, shall we? Come on then. <laughs> Looks like we'll get no help from Pinky and the Brain. Guess we're the professionals. No time like the present. You must be Molly. We're here to help you. Some of the times with the quote in the Exorcist isn't going to work this time, mate. Molly? Come. Oh. Saliva. Lovely. Well, well, well. This is nice, isn't it? The famous Trinity. Big fan, are we, Molly? That's not my name, you cheap slut. Enough! You're going to leave this girl, do you understand? Oh, look at him. I'm doing the talking here. Lucy, at a push, how powerful do you think it is? If you ask me, Seems pretty weak. What about the fat one? Doesn't he get this? Whoa! Not fat. Of course you are. The fat one with the dead bitch. 
Shame, really. You think with you being the wolf's pain, you could have saved her. You son of a... <laughs> Frankie! That's right, Teddy. You save him. That's what you're good at, isn't it? Keeping your family safe. Isn't that what happened to poor old Marion? What? <laughs> Leave them alone. Oh, Lucy. Sweet Lucy. Daddy's little girl. You can't run forever. Daddy's going to catch up with you. What are you doing? You know I can save her. No, you'll kill us all. I've killed enough people. It's about time I saved someone. Lucy, no! Molly, you're okay? It was a stupid thing to do. She's alive, isn't she? What the hell was that? I did what I had to do, all right? How did she know about Evelyn? And the wolf's men only Mikhail ever called me and that. that? She's just trying to mess with us. We should have a doctor look at her. You too, Lucy. I'm fine. She just needs some rest. We all do. Mum, I've received the uh, blood results from the boy. And? The power he possesses, it's, it's remarkable. If we could control it, harness it perhaps, we could finish this thing before it even starts. Excellent, Jacob. Now we just need the resources to do that. The vampire will come in handy. Secrets he's bound to know. Don't worry, Jacob. I know how to make a canary sing. Cheers! Lanta. I must congratulate you all on a successful mission. Aye, top notch. Fucking superb! Lily! I think she's had a wee bit too much of the drink, you know. I think we'll go home. Come on, let's go. Oh. Come on. Leave that there. Come on, leave it there. Let's go. I think we'd better call it a night as well. If we might, can we have a word in private? Of course. I'll meet you outside. You've done us a great service. Have this. As a reward. Blood? No, I don't. I'm, I'm on a cleanse. A vampire that doesn't drink blood? Don't be ridiculous. I don't. Take I... the flask. You've earned it. Think of it as our special reward. You keep doing jobs for us, we keep getting blood for you. It's a fair system. Everyone wins. You might as well. Plus, didn't you recently relapse? Why stop now? Hi. And so, the rat scuttles back to its hall. Permission to speak freely, ma'am. Go ahead. Is it wise for us to be working with these monsters? With the power that boy has, yes, and the vampires have their uses too. You know best, ma'am. Now I best head home. The wife will be worried sick. Yes, good night. Yeah. 
got my money to lose. Where are you going? I'm gonna go have a shower. Don't suppose you want one? I'll stick to whiskey, thanks. You know drink isn't going to make your problems go away. No, but you leaving might. Excuse me? What the hell are you playing at? I don't know what you did to that girl, but you could have killed us all. Guess that's what you're best at. <laughs>